The third question is a liabilities and equity question. I just had a quick peek down to the bottom here. It says the liabilities and equity section of a balance sheet. But we'll obviously have to do some calculations. It says that Tiger Dusty uh, Proprietary Limited operates a number of AFL sports stores in Melbourne. Select the accounts and their balance selected select accounts and their balances have been extracted from Tiger Dusty Limited as at the 30th of September 2018. The that's the financial year end for 2018. These have been provided below. And it's given me some additional information. It says profit for the year end of the 30th of June 2018 Tiger Dusty amounted to 66750 The market value less costs market value less cost to sell the inventory was 92500 Tiger Dusty has decided to transfer 25000 from retained earnings to the general reserve on the 30th of September 2018 and the company also declared a final dividend of 20 cents per share on the 30th of September 2018. Now I think there was an error. I think that's supposed to be 30th of September. Uh, Let's go. All right. Um, where are we? Uh, so now what we need to do is we need to determine the liabilities and equity sections of the balance sheet. So let's go through and um, this is first one's an asset, or it's a current asset. Second one's a current liability. Third one's a current asset. Fourth one's a non-current asset. Fifth is a non-current asset. Provision for warranty is a current liability. General reserve falls under equity. Inventory is a current asset. Long-term bank loan is a non-current liability. Provision for long service leave is a non-current liability. Retained earnings falls under equity. Uh, and revenue received in advance was 3,600, so that's a current liability. And share capital comes under equity. Now what I can do is I can tick off all my assets because I don't need those because we're only doing a equity and liability section of our balance sheet and all the other ones fall under equity. But we'll still have to do some calculations because I've got some figures here that are from the previous year. Uh, so let's have a look here. We'll do some calculations. Profit for the year was 66750 That should go into retained earnings. So let's just do a retained earnings first. And then we've got a balance on the 1st of the 10th, 17, for $75,700. Okay. Um, so I can tick that figure off. We've got profit for the year, so plus profit. My profit amounted to 66750 I can tick that one off. Market value less cost, that's a current asset, so I, can, I don't have to worry about that. I uh, decided to transfer 25 from retained earnings to general reserves, so minus uh, transfer um, of 25,000. Uh, my general reserves, should I, I'll just put a plus 25,000 in there, because that's uh, what I need to look at, so I can tick that item off. The company also declared a final dividend of 20 cents per share at the 30th of September. So 20 cents per share. I've got 300 shares, so I've got 300 times 0 0.20. Uh, a fifth of that is 60,000. So um, less dividend of 60,000. And that's an out as well. So my retained earnings, so let's just do a quick calculation here. 75,700 plus 66,750 less 25,000 less 60,000 equals 57,450. My general reserve, I'm going to put that plus 25,000 in there, so that makes 979,800. Um, did I issue any shares? No, I didn't issue any shares. I'm taking care of profits, those are my retained earnings. Uh, 
that's my retained earnings. Okay, so now I could make up, let's just tick these ones off that uh, I know are taken care of. Uh, cash is a current asset, so that's taken care of as well. Uh, and there was one more, that was uh, the inventory. So I'm really looking at those ones that are the, the liability side. So let's do an, uh, uh, what have we got? Tiger Dusty Proprietary Limited. Balance sheet extract. How's that? 30th of September 2018. So liabilities. So my liabilities be current liabilities. And my first current liability no, accounts payable. Accounts payable there. My accounts payable, which comes in at thirty two thousand five hundred and sixty. Uh, my next one is provision for warranty. And that's thirty five thousand. Have we got any other current liabilities? Revenue received in advance. Revenue received in advance three thousand six hundred. Uh, long term loans non current. Provision for long service leave is non current. So I could probably put a line there. Let's have non current liabilities. My non current liabilities, let's go with long term bank loan. We'll just call it bank loan. Uh, 155,000. And twenty three thousand five hundred for provision for long service league. Uh, long service league. Okay. And then we got equity, which we always start with capital. And my capital is six hundred thousand. Uh, plus retained earnings. And my retained earnings is this figure we calculated up here. Uh, we just need to bring it down to here. So it's fifty-seven thousand four hundred and fifty. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tick off the retained earnings here as well, so I know that I've taken care of that. And we've got one more item left, which is my general reserve. And uh, general reserve, uh, what do we say? Seventy-nine thousand eight hundred. I don't think there's any more. Let's have a quick scan. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yep. And I can tick off uh, that final dividend. I can tick that one off as well. So I've ticked all these items off. So I just need to do some, ooh, some totaling. Uh, here we go. That was all a question. Uh, 32,560 plus 35,000 plus 3,600 equals. 71,160. 155 plus 23, 500. 178, 500. 
and the last is 600 plus 57450 plus 79800 and it comes in at 737,250 and there's my liabilities and equity section of my balance sheet your marks would have been in here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46